Tulsa County Sheriff's Office recently took over the commissary at the jail. It's a known money maker. And now they're upping their game, bringing in some new products. Two Works For You reporter Katie Wisely shows us how the numbers add up in a story you'll see only on two. From candy bars to ramen noodles, the commissary at the Tulsa County Jail has it all. I could really do my time without being stressed out. A new item put on the shelves in mid-September, e-cigarettes, and inmates sure like them. I've bought in three at one time and I've had them go in two days. Documents show the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office charges inmates just over $17 for one e-cigarette. That vaping device costs the agency just $2.05. From November 1st to November 29th, the jail made more than $8,700 on vaping sales and spent just about $1,500 on the product. Right now, based on our numbers, it's enough to cover the overhead um, with a little left over. We're kind of breaking even on it. Tulsa County Sheriff Vic Regalado says the e-cigarettes are helping manage inmates because they're also a behavioral tool. We had people that were rolling toilet, I mean literally rolling uh, orange peels in toilet paper and smoking it. Uh, that, that's an issue. So we'd much rather them actually smoke a vape than an orange peel. And helping those who smoke to avoid going cold turkey. People are more relaxed and getting along with other inmates. Everything's pretty much decided for us on a day-to-day -day basis, so even the most smallest of choice does mean a lot. Most inmates walk this hallway on a daily basis, but the only place to smoke e-cigarettes is here inside the pods. Even though it's overpriced, at least they're giving you the option to have it. Although honey buns are still the top seller, e-cigarettes could soon make their way to the top of the list at the jail commissary. Tulsa County is not alone. At least seven other counties across the state sell e-cigarettes. Reporting downtown, Katie Wisely, Two Works for you.